Hi there, I wanna do a quick update on our Tesla $2,200 price target that we came up with several weeks back and we uploaded that lecture on our YouTube channel detailing the process, the methodology on how we came up with that price target. As of today, lo and behold, the stock is trading above $2,200. So they hit our price target and we got it right. But what's important to understand is the process, the methodology, the homework, the research, all of the work and the input that went behind coming up with that price target, which details it from an educational perspective, is to help you understand that there is a lot more to the decision-making process of buying a stock. It's not as simple as opening an account, hitting the buy button, and owning shares. There's a lot more to that process that a lot of you don't understand. And the reason why we are sharing these videos is to help elevate your understanding of stock analysis, the process to make you a better investor. So with that being said, let's dive into the material where we are going to highlight the important parts of that video lecture. So what I'm showing right here on our page is how we came up with the $2,200 price target. We simply use trading multiple valuation. We looked at sales growth and we apply a sales multiple. We also looked at earnings per share growth and we applied a PE multiple valuation. So we basically use a blended approach from a trading multiple perspective by also comparing Tesla to, the comp to their competitors. And as you can see, at the bottom here and highlighted in yellow, 2241 was an average surprise target, but we ended up rounding to 2200. So you need to understand valuation methodologies and more importantly, what are you willing to pay for the growth of the stock? Now, I'm not gonna go much more in depth into this. I've already recorded the lecture, it's 42 minutes. It's your job, it's your responsibility to watch it, study it, do your own homework so that you can understand the process and the methodologies and then you can do it on any other stock that you may be looking at or even if you have it in your portfolio. Now, the second image that we have right here is applying technical analysis where we drew an uptrend line displaying the momentum of the stock. But what's also important is to understand the waves and patterns of how stock prices actually behave. From a very fundamental perspective, when you're looking at price structure, patterns, and trends in the market is to understand that they don't just go in a straight line move. They go up, they come down, they move up again, they come down, and then they move up again. This is making a series of higher lows, right? Higher lows right here higher lows right here, making an uptrend. That's exactly what you're seeing right here with Tesla. So we drew that. We understood that the stock was moving in an uptrend. And we were also anticipating a decline on the stock, just profit taking, shaking off the weekends, in anticipation of the next move to the upside. But more importantly, we had a roadmap. We had an objective price target based on the fundamental trading multiple analysis that we provided. That's how we came up with that $2,200 price target. And we were anticipating that move getting in front of it. But also you need to understand risk reward. Just because you simply buy the stock doesn't mean that you're not watching it. You have the risk of the idea not working in your favor, therefore the stock can continue to decline and you will be operating your position at a loss. You need to minimize your risk by having stops in place, okay? Because this doesn't work 100% of the time, but you are increasing your chances and probabilities of getting it right. Now, of course, the next slide right here is the actual price move that the stock has experienced over the last four weeks. Let me pull up right here my pen and draw the price level over the last four weeks hitting our $2,200 price target. So we were anticipating it. We got it right. And again, it's not to say that we got it right for the purposes of pointing it out. But what's important is the methodology, is the process. Because if you learn this and you apply it to any other stock, you're going to elevate your understanding of stock analysis, 
How do you anticipate these moves? How do you have an objective investment thesis and an execution game plan to capitalize on the return if it works in your favor? We're just getting the odds, increasing our probabilities of getting it correct so that you can become a better investor and take full control, full responsibility on your own decision-making process when you are participating in the markets. So we got this one right. I mean, 47%, this is quite impressive on a stock like Tesla. So when you look at the banks, how much are you getting paid by just having a check-in or a savings account in your bank? You're probably getting almost zero. What about if you invest in bonds or in a CDs? They're really not paying you as much as what this return on investment would have paid you. So again, learn the process and learn the methodology. Now, where do we go from here? Now that the stock has reached our price target, we're basically out of the stock. We don't own it in full disclosure. Now you will probably wait or anticipate a move to the downside, profit taking ahead of the five for one stock split. We also did a video on that. If you haven't seen it, go and watch it and wait for profit taking and then anticipate the next move to the upside, which would be on, on the backs of their battery day and also anticipating the news that they're gonna be added into the S&P 500. So again, folks, I'm not gonna go too much in depth into this because I've already done the entire video lecture, but what's important here, the message is to learn the process. Learn how to research the company. Learn how to formulate an investment thesis. Learn how to do your homework and the right research. Combine it with the fundamental stock analysis and, and valuation methodologies to improve your recommendation and your accuracy in buying and selling stocks. So if you learn something or take anything away from this, then I hope it brings you value. And from an educational and instructor perspective, then I've done my job um, with helping you become a better investor and maybe giving you that extra push to do the homework and, and learn this process because at the end of the day, you have to take responsibility in your own hands and just recognize that this is not easy. It's a lot of work and nothing that is worthwhile pursuing comes easy. So with that being said, I hope you stay safe and I'll see you in the next one.